Hello and welcome to this video showcasing Arch's Varial technology for HTML e-forms that are fully integrated with SAP. We're going to launch our form from our SAP UI5 portal. But before that, let me just do a short advert for eForms. Much of our work in 2018 has been Fiori apps using our framework Stalo. And whilst there's no doubt Fiori will be a huge part of any SAP customer's landscape over the next five years, we find there's still a strong demand for HTML eForms. Eforms might be the uncool sibling in the family, but they do get through a lot of work. And we use the same architecture as our Stalo powered Fiori apps to develop and manage these eForms, and they're used to address custom requirements not met by standard SAP transactions or library apps. HTML eForms are great for customers without the prerequisite Fiori infrastructure or for user communities outside the enterprise. In this case, an HTML eForm is used for a custom timesheet application in a UK government client. So let's get started. In this scenario, the supervisor needs to claim a sleeping over allowance for her team member, Miss Khatoon. As this is a form that is completed by one person on behalf of another, we need to choose an employee by personnel number. In other forms, we have used a drop down list to do this. The eForm interrogates SAP and pulls back the data already held to speed completion. You'll notice that the form recasts itself based on the profile of the claimant, only offering those subforms that apply. Of course, SAP authorizations control what data is shown to a given user. Now we can add the various sleeping in duties claims that are required, choosing a date and the number of sessions, then adding multiple rows as required, with their own dates and individual session counts. The user has the option if they wish to add a comment to explain what they've done or any exceptions to ensure that the manager who is approving has all the data required. With the information entered, the form is submitted and passed for approval and the Arch software assigns a unique user ID to the form. Before we show the approval step, let's have a quick look at SAP and note that the new data is not there yet. We look up the personnel number, choose an info type, and now we'll see that the last sleeping in duties claim was on 13th of June 2016, quite a while ago. Okay, back to the inbox. In this case, the manager, Mrs. Sivright, opens the form and can approve or reject it. In this case, she is content and approves the form the form and the claim. Typically, as here, we don't let approvers change data, only to comment, and in rejecting the claim have it returned to the claimant. But you are in control, we can support your process whatever it might be. Once approved, we can see the data is updated into SAP. So let's go back in, PA20, choose our info type again, the date range, and view, and there we have it. The Arch Software eForm has updated SAP with three claims for sleeping in duties. This completes the video, and we hope you found it interesting. Please do feel free to contact us if you have any questions. We will be delighted to hear from you. Thank you very much indeed.